viewers, welcome to my channel. Before I start this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one, I'm reading A Little Spot Learns Online, a story about virtual classroom expectations by Danny Albert. I'm here with a friend, and for privacy disclosures, I'm going to call him Potato. Potato, say hi. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Without further ado, let's begin reading the book. Hi, my name is Spot. I hear you're going to start learning online, and I'm here to help. That's great. Learning online is new for us, so any tips would be helpful. Absolutely. Learning virtually or online is like learning at school, but it just feels a little bit different. Instead of learning in a physical classroom at school, you'll be learning on a computer in a virtual classroom at home. You will still see your teacher and all the kids in your class, and they will be able to see you too. So you definitely don't want to be in your pajamas. Joining a virtual class is like going to school, so you should wear something comfortable and appropriate. This will help you get your mind ready to learn and help you stay on schedule too. Eat before you join your class online. You don't want a grumbling stomach when you're trying to learn. Eating while you're in a virtual classroom can be a distraction, not only to you, but to your teacher and classmates too. Don't worry, your teacher will have scheduled snack breaks. Be organized and prepared. You should avoid getting up and leaving your classroom session. So having a water bottle nearby is a great idea in case you get thirsty. Make sure you have the school supplies that your teacher recommends in close reach uh, as well. And the biggest thing of all, don't forget to go potty before you join your virtual class. Find a good place to sit. You might want to sit on the floor or the couch, but this can get uncomfortable. When you are uncomfortable, you move around a lot. Try sitting on a chair. This will help you stay upright and focused. If you don't have a desk chair, a dining room chair works too. Create a quiet space. A place with few distractions makes learning easier. Quiet zone. And look behind you. Teachers and students can see what is in the background of your computer camera. So make sure that is appropriate too. Now look around you. Make sure all your toys are put away, all the food is out of reach, and any pets are in a different room. Always try to be on time. When you're on time, it shows respect for your teacher and that you're responsible. Sometimes there can be technical problems, so always try to join virtual classes five minutes early. This way, an adult can make sure your computer is fully charged, your camera works, and your microphone is muted. Now you're ready to learn. You'll be able to learn the best when your eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is quiet, back is upright and not slouching, hands are relaxed. When you have something to say, make sure you raise your hand and await your turn. Also, be sure your microphone is turned on so your teacher and classmates can hear you. Well, you both are working so hard. I hope I've helped make this experience a little easier. I can't wait to see how much you learn and how much fun you have with online learning. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give a like, and hit the notification bell for more updates. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!